internally we have the Naxal problem. The, the left-wing extremists are still, um, still not under control. And um, internationally we have the problem uh, of competition with China. As uh, China has been a little assertive with us in the recent few months, many say that uh, the, there is enough space for both India and China to grow. I am not too sure about that because the Chinese have all along put pressure on us when it suits them. But we must understand that China is a much bigger country. It is a stronger country. And they're way ahead of us in many, many activities. And we can't really be thinking of equality with China. And, and this, this concept, this noble belief that, or, or, or the hope that, will India catch up with China? I think that's, that's a debate we shouldn't get into. It's, it's, it's dangerous for us to, to try and get equal with China. Our, our, our competition will be for resources and markets. We want the same resources they want. We are both short of uh, energy and that will be a competition. And once you produce something, you want to sell it and the markets are going to be the same. So there will be competition for both. You know, it, it self-generates. Once, once, you, once you launch yourself and you, you cut off the launching pad, then it becomes faster and faster. We need to get to that break point where, where, where we can then divert resources, divert funds for, our, uh, for the rural sector, for education and health, which is, which is a big problem. Infrastructure, social infrastructure is the one that is the biggest problem that we need to sort out. I think our, our, our strength lies in our young entrepreneurs, young, you know, the, the mid-twenties onwards, the, the educated, English educated, um, technically qualified men and women who, who, who hold a lot of promise for the country. Our, our, our era is over. <laughs>